because the X12R's motor doesn't really contain any earth-shattering technology, it is just a good, solid inline 4. With 1199cc, the ZX12R's engine was a huge 12 kg lighter than the ZZR's lump and contained a lot of the ZX9R's know-how. Impressively, it is just 8 mm longer than the ZX9R's engine and it's 83 by 55. 4 mm over square bore and stroke was also decided on using the ZX9R's a template. One thing that did make it special, however, was a huge 12.2 to 1 compression ratio, achieved through the use of specially cast pistons with super thin piston rings for minimal friction losses. Those who like these kinds of things will also appreciate the fact the ZX12R's clutch cover, cylinder head cover and generator covers are all made of magnesium. Oh yes, there was one trick it had up its sleeve, or more precisely up its nose. Kawasaki have always pioneered Ram Air and the ZX12R featured a massive air scoop at the front of the bike that channeled fresh air into its mammoth airbox viaducts that actually ran through the frame to ensure a nice, direct flow. And when we say airbox we actually mean monocoque chassis, 